Hello. We're doing it again. Round two. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is David Prater. For the second installment of the Frozen Dinner Date series, we are going with something a little bit different. Actually, a lot of bit different from last week's Fish and Chips video. It's equally as British as Fish and Chips, don't get me wrong, but it sounds a lot weirder. Today, we are doing a steak and kidney pie. Now, Wikipedia describes this as a savory pie that is filled principally with a mixture of a diced beef, diced kidney, often beef, lamb, or pork kidney, fried onion, and brown gravy. Steak and kidney pie is a representative dish of British cuisine. However, as the show goes, we cannot be doing the traditional British food. We're doing one straight from a box from Asda. As you can see right here, it is labeled as a slow-cooked steak and kidney puff pastry pie made, of course, with British beef. Everybody else calls Americans nationalistic? You're, you're bragging about your beef. I'm kidding. Okay, let's look at the ingredients. Starts out with all the ingredients for the puff pastry itself, of course. Then it goes into the slow-cooked marinated beef, which is 21% of the dish. From there, we have water, and 10% of the dish is beef kidney. That'll confirm it. This is steak and kidney pie. So, we're gonna get downstairs, we're gonna cook this bad boy up, and I will see you here in a second. And would you take a look at that, but bam, we got ourselves a pie. I'm gonna pop it out of here. I don't want it to be stuck in there. I hope it doesn't fall apart on me though. All right, all right, it comes out clean. I'm just not a fan of like eating out of a piece of aluminum foil. I don't know what to expect. I've actually never had a meat pie before and I don't recommend doing it like this for your first time. If you wanna make your first time very special, I recommend going to a fish and chip shop. That's actually what was suggested to me downstairs by my flatmates while I was preparing this. So there you go, English pro tip. Anyway, we're gonna try this guy out. I'm gonna give you a close up of stabbing into this thing and then we're gonna eat it. It actually sounds really nice. Very fluffy, very fluffy. Just look inside of there. Lots of good gravy going on. Oh, there's some kidney, I'm pretty sure. Or steak, I can't tell the difference. Bottoms up, everybody. It's better seasoned than the fish and chips from Mazda. I can say that for sure. I don't know if they stuck with the traditional kidney style though. Like I said, it was from a cow, but I think it might, like I'm getting notes of human kidney actually. Does Sweeney Todd like produce his pie? Maybe it's just cats in here, I can't tell. Really interesting sounds coming from this thing. This is actually the dish that inspired me to make this series of videos. Somebody recommended that I try this on video. Somebody recommended that I go out and find a good steak and kidney pie, but that wasn't ever a food that I was going to try anyway. Kind of like haggis when I went to Scotland. Some of you may have seen that video. I go to Scotland and I want to try haggis, but I don't want to try it for real. So I go into like a fish and chip shop and I get deep fried haggis. And that tasted fine because it was just deep fried and I, you know, that's always good. I said, I want to show people what steak and kidney pie is. It just in general, I want to introduce the world to it, but I don't want to actually go out and pay money for one if I'm not going to enjoy it to the utmost. So this is my happy medium. It's not about supermarket taste tests. It's not about seeing how good it is compared to the real thing. It's about you and me. And it's about keeping a constant relationship. I just feel like beef liver isn't a liver you would regularly serve to a, an audience of people. I don't know why this came to be. I don't know what the tradition is. Oh, maybe it's because cows have eight livers and they just, they, they have a surplus, so let's put it into a pie. It's basic economics, basic supply and demand. When you hear those words together in America, meat pie, it just, it sounds awful. Because yeah, we have like chicken pot pie, but it's not the same, except it is entirely. Like everything about a chicken pot pie, I think is like the same as any other meat pie. We just don't like to think like that. In my sheltered experience, pie is always indicative of dessert and sweet things. This is far from both of those. I was on the phone earlier and I was talking to my girlfriend and I said, yeah, I'm uh, just gonna put this pie in the fridge real quick and she got excited and I'm like, no, no, it's not what you think. It's not quite as amazing. I think I'm just gonna like take the rest of this like a taco or something. I have a big pet peeve and I've been thinking about it recently so I wanna share it with you because that's what dates are for. I'll see these people on YouTube, they're like chefs or they're cooking something or whatever. And then at the end of the video, they'll always, they'll do this really apologetic and almost sad way of trying their own food. They'll be like, oh my god, this looks amazing, I'm sorry, I just have to try it. It's like, yeah, we knew you were gonna try it, pal. You made that, you put the time into producing that beauty. Nobody's angry with you for, for trying your own food. We wanna see it happen. That's a real money shot, I swear. Like, that's the money shot of food videos, of seeing the bite taken out. There's no need to apologize, my friend, just enjoy your meal. And I'll enjoy the last bite of mine. So I feel like a pie like this kind of appreciates in value with age, like with time. Because once all the gravy and the beef and the kidneys are gone, you have an amazing puff pastry to enjoy. It's like going to Red Lobster and you have the promise of a cheddar biscuit at the very beginning, except this promises it to you at the very end. And no cheddar, a lot less flavor in general. Of course, if you want to enjoy this as it's meant to be enjoyed, go to a pie shop and get yourself a steak and kidney pie. Don't go to Asda, don't go to Tesco to find like your first one and only true experience at 
and a meat pie. I assure you, you're not gonna find it there. If you like this video, if you like steak and kidney pies, if you like steak, if you like kidney, if you like pie, if you like traditional British cuisine packaged in an aluminum foil dish from Asda in the frozen section, or if you just like me as a person and you want to see me talk a little bit more, thank you very much, by the way. I highly recommend liking the video. And with all of that pie, if you will, I, yeah, hmm, okay. I'm gonna go. So, yeah.